Welcome to the first plugin review, guys. And in today's review, we are going to be looking at a plugin called Multi Worlds, which I feel like is the most necessary and essential plugin for any Pocket Mind server to have. So stay tuned, guys. Let's get right into it. Yo, 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 what's going on there, lads and lasses? So welcome back to another video. It's me, your boy, TechnoT, and in today's video, like I said, we are going to be looking at the Multi-Worlds plugin. Now, before this video starts, first off, I want to say this. Thank you very much, guys, for helping me reach 30 subs. It has been amazing. Words cannot describe my gratitude to you guys for subscribing, staying tuned, and the views have been going up, so thank you very much, guys. And second thing, guys, if you could all hit that like button, that would help me out a lot. And if you're new around here and are interested in more plugins to have better your Pocket Mind server, click that subscribe button. So anyway, guys, enough talk. Let's get into the video. So the Multi Worlds plugin is basically a world management plugin, and it will allow you to create multiple worlds on one server. The Multi Worlds plugin is really easy to use. So the first thing you're going to need to do is type in slash mw because all the multi worlds commands will start with slash mw and put space and we are going to create a world so i'll do slash mw space create and then give it a name so i'm going to call this sky wars and then from there hit space and put in the seed so i want this to be a super flat world because i'm going to make this a sky wars lobby zero and then put a space and give the generator type since i want it to be a flat world i will put flat and once you have this written out with the name, the seed over here, the generator type over here, hit enter. And as you can see, it is generating the world. Now, since you have created your world, you want to teleport to it. So it's really easy. Do slash MWTP and then the name of what you put your world. So since mine was Sky Wars, I will type in Sky Wars and it'll teleport me to a super flat world that I have created for my Sky Wars lobby. Now, how do we teleport back to the lobby world? The world which you started out with, to teleport back to that, just type in slash MWTP world and hit enter. It brings me right back to my lobby world. Now, let's say from here, I wanted to create a survival world where maybe I wanted to do some survival where it's just free for all. Well, from here, just type in slash MW space create and then we'll call this free for all and then we'll do space and then we'll type in a seed so since i want this to be a free for all world we'll put the seed at 13 and hit enter and then from there as you can see it created a world with the seed 13 and the generator as normal now do slash mw tp free for all or whatever the name of your world is and when you do that it teleports you to a world with the seed number 13 my survival world and as you can see there is a bit of artifacting going on but that's actually very very normal so don't fret it'll all load in it just takes a little while that's all now to head back of course type in slash mw space tp space world now let's say we created multiple worlds and we can't remember the name of one of them so if you want to see the list of all the worlds you have created just simply type in slash mw space list and it'll list out all the worlds that are loaded or unloaded now let's say you restart your server right you restart your server you turn it back on and you want to teleport back to let's say for me i wanted to teleport back to my sky wars lobby world well, that's actually simple, but first, before you do slash MWTP your world name, you need to do slash MW space load and then type in your world name that you want to go to. So do this for all your worlds and I'll, I'll load in Skywars. So I'll do slash MW load and it should successfully load in the world, but on my end, it says unable to load world. That's fine. Uh, that means I already have it loaded, but yeah, so from here, I have just loaded in that specific world. So when you restart your server, make sure you reload in those worlds by doing slash MW space load space whatever the name of that world is, or else people can't teleport to it. So then from there you can do slash MW TP your world name, and then it, it'll teleport you to your world that you just made over there. Well, what if you want to delete a world? I can actually remove it by typing slash MW remove and then the world name.
So guys, believe it or not, but there's actually four more worlds you can create using the multi-worlds plugin. And they might be useful depending on your server. First things first, the first one we're going to do is we're going to create a sky blocks. So do slash mw create space sky block space one space sb. And as you can see, we've just generated a sky blocks world. Now to teleport, do slash mwtp sky block. And as you can see, we are at a sky blocks world. Another preset is if you do slash mw create nether one nether. As you can see, we just generated a nether world. So do slash mw tp nether. And as you can see, it's building the train. As you can see, we're in the nether. The second to last one is the end world, which you can do slash mw create ender one ender. Type in enter and it just generated it. So do slash mw tp ender so as you can see this is the end world that has loaded in of course we can change the seed but i chose to just keep it at a default and finally the last preset that is loaded into this plugin is a void so type in slash mw create void one void and hit enter and type in slash mwtp void as you can see this is the void world there's only one block everything else is literally just the void by the way if you get confused the commands will be copied and pasted down into the description if you get stuck on any of these commands simply type in slash mw help hit enter slash mw space help two and it'll load in both the pages of help information also on in the pocket mine link there will actually be a link to all the commands so there's always that you can reference but yeah guys that's it it's pretty easy hope you guys enjoy your multi-worlds plugin and hopefully this was a good overview for you guys and i'll catch you all in the next video make sure to sub and like see ya